last night we talked a little bit about um, Louise Upston on Q and A, and dreadful, dreadful appearance. Yep. The National Party's vindictive, spiteful, horrible plan for beneficiaries, and Jack mm-hmm. Tame asking quite a bit, uh, quite a few questions about children. Uh, and how the children of these beneficiaries who are going to face sanctions uh, react. Anyway, it came up in the House today. So let's have a look. Uh, Government warning changes to benefits could see 7,000 more children in poverty. The government has been warned that the changes it is making to benefits could see 7,000 more children living in poverty. So the changes they're specifically talking about is how it's being paid, whether it's whether they index it to CPI or to inflation or to the average wage. And what the Labour government did over their six years, they actually switched it because as they were switching it, it made it better to do it via inflation or the other way around. And... um, and nationals flipping it back the other way and it's going to be cause beneficiaries to be far worse off. The coalition today rushed through changes to how main benefits are indexed as part of its 100 day plan. Here's political reporter Amelia Wade. Our government is relentlessly focused on getting New Zealanders into work. The government today changing how benefits increase, tying them to inflation rather than rising wages, meaning over time they'll get less, but the government will save $670 million over four years. Who is that money coming from? Mm. It is coming from the poorest New Zealanders who are struggling more than anyone else in this country. Advice to the It's a very good point, isn't it? So if they're saving money, it is and ben- the point. Well, yeah, because the if they're saving point. money and beneficiaries are going to end up having less money, then part of the savings is coming from beneficiaries. It's like it's kind of unquestionable that that's there's a link there. There's a link between paying beneficiaries less and saving money. So helping to pay for it. Well done, beneficiaries. Advice to the minister said her changes would mean by 2028 beneficiaries will likely be getting $18.15 less than they would under the current settings and that they would see 7,000 more children living in poverty. Though there was a large variance, meaning it could be as low as 3,000 or as high as 11,000 extra children in poverty. And we already know the system of this National Party, Joey, when it comes to official advice, don't we? They always take it on board and make a sensible Mm. and balanced decision afterwards. Is that right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And and I think, I think we're, what they'll be basing it on, on something as a universal truth, we can all acknowledge no matter what side of the left or right divide that you sit on is that these poor kids have had it far too good for far too long. Yeah. 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 I think, I think we need to take them down a peg or two. These kids living in poverty. I reckon these, they've these had it too. These poor kids. Uppity little things. We want people receiving a main benefit to continue to have enough income to meet their basic needs. And we're going to do that by making sure we pay them less. But also to ensure that the best way to get ahead is through a job. It will actually reduce their ability to meet those child poverty reduction targets. Then they should be ashamed of themselves. The government was also warned their move would disproportionately affect disabled people, women, Māori and Pacific peoples. All those people who you think of when you think about ACT voters. Oh, hang on. Not so much. They're not the ones you think of so much. So not impacting the National Act or New Zealand First voters as much. Certainly disproportionately impacting voters for the left, Joey. It's it's such in the space of four years, it as a line item in a government budget, it's such a pitifully small amount of money. And I just sit there going, if you need to save this much money, why not bring in more money? Why not target a wealth tax? You know, it's they always come at this the wrong way. What we've got to save money from the people that have the least money is just it just sounds harder it, it is just a, sounds harder to do and it sounds meaner but it, it's absolutely out of your playbook it, it plays into this myth that being on a benefit is fucking easy and everybody's sitting at home playing playstation all day louise upston i don't think she's probably been upwind of a wind's office let alone in one 
let alone asking for a food grant, let alone deciding who eats or whether they pay rent that week. I think it's the, the reality is, even if it's not a directly transferable amount of money, you can't argue with the fact that landlords are going to be better off financially, in part thanks to beneficiaries being worse off. What kind of government wants to have that as part of their legacy? And I'm not saying it's completely transferable because obviously they need to give more back to landlords than that. But the reality is the wealthy under this government are going to be better off on some level because, because the poor are worse off. Vote National Land Land 2026. Landlords do extremely well out of wins. Yeah. Landlords get more money out of wins than beneficiaries do. It goes directly from wins into the landlord's bank accounts. They know that these poor people would never be able to afford it. They jack up the rent because it's just going straight. You just sign up as a wins provider. Yep. You give them your bank account details because you can't let the poor people touch the money. It's got to go straight to the landlords that deserve it. And they're charging top rate market rents for some shitty, shitty piece of crap, barely scraped through healthy home standards. They put like a fan heater in the in the bathroom and called it a day. Scum lords. All right, we'll keep going. Changes could incentivize some of those people to get jobs, but warned disabled people who cannot work had no ability to change or improve their situation. I'm absolutely focused on getting more people off welfare and into work because they will have higher incomes and more. It's not what she said yesterday, remember. Off welfare, absolutely focused to get them off welfare. The and into work is the bit that she didn't say was a top priority in the bit we played mm. yesterday. I don't disagree that they are absolutely focused on getting people off welfare, but that doesn't necessarily mean they are then going to get them into work. They might just get them off welfare and end that part of the conversation there, may go no further. Opportunities. Though the ones left behind, officials say, will fall further into poverty. Amelia Wade, you. Yes, so we talked about this yesterday, and the day after, we see immediately the downstream effect of what a national government um, does to beneficiaries. Benny bashing. I've already seen it go through the text or the chat room a couple of times. And they don't they don't seem to be shy about actually, you know, they're, they're blatant. They're bl it's like there's they're no hiding anymore. There's no need to hide it. They'll just say, we've got the mandate. We'll do it. Beneficiaries will be worse off. Landlords will be better off. Business owners probably better off. Wealthy better off beneficiaries I, you know what i'm going to do is make it as hard for you to uh, to live off a benefit and then you can go out into the marketplace and be taken advantage of by a scrupulous boss but at least we'll be able to tick you off a benefit even though you're now working 60 hours a week for below minimum wage because they've put you on a on a salary you know because because if you don't because if, if you can get 50 bucks more working terrible conditions and being taken advantage of it's 50 bucks more than the benefit so that national then gets people into their workforce and off the benefit even though that's the that's the reality for some people make it make it so bad that you'll accept any conditions to get a job to earn an extra 10 bucks a week